The company behind Posted Notes is settling lawsuits over so-called forever chemicals. Over the next decade, 3M will pay $10 billion to water suppliers that found those chemicals in the water. And tonight, our 8 News Now investigators reveal scientists are finding these compounds right here in Southern Nevada and all over the West. And in some very remote places, too. So what does this mean for you and for your family? And how did meth get into snow? 8 News Now investigator David Sharns with the answer. But we're not going to be able to get rid of it. It's there. It's floating around, not only in water, but precipitation. The it for Dr. Doug Sims is a group of chemicals popping up in water across the West. Say the first human to come here did a test, would everything be zero, 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 zero? Yeah, it would be non-detect for, for all of these chemicals because these are all man-made or synthetic. Synthetic compounds known as PFAS or forever chemicals. We put them into our environment using non-stick pots and pans and certain plastics. We found all kinds of drugs that people use. You may remember Sims from his previous research. He and students at the College of Southern Nevada found drugs in wastewater heading out to Lake Mead. They detected spikes in illicit substances like ecstasy during big music festivals like EDC. It's a similar problem with PFAS. While the EPA is proposing the first ever nationwide standard for the chemicals in drinking water, scientists don't yet know what PFAS could mean for our bodies and our environment. Sims and his team found PFAS in water sources in 11 western states, some in areas so remote, the only way Sims says they got there is from the rain. Why is it important to know if these chemicals are in these water sources? It's important to know about PFAS in our environment in Nevada so that we can address any concerns and protect the public. Andrea Seifert is the chief of Nevada's Bureau of Safe Drinking Water. The use of these products is so widespread. With the chemicals and everything from waterproof clothing to firefighting foam, Seifert says the state is researching how it's getting in the water and how it's affecting us. We want to know what are those levels, what needs to be done to protect the public and to inform them so that they can make decisions about the water they're drinking. At what point does the number really say this is a problem? The drugs have the potential to be biomagnified through the system, ultimately entering the food web that we depend on. That magnification will only worsen in drought if the Colorado River, our source for water, continues to dwindle. The amount of water in the Colorado today, despite the current year, is drastically down compared to five, six years ago. So the concentration is going up in the Colorado because of climate change impact on the environment. A changing environment with man-made chemicals discovered in some unsuspecting places. And we're finding PFOS and methamphetamines and other drugs actually in the snow transported on the winds. Nevada received about $20 million from President Biden's infrastructure law to protect drinking water sources from PFAS. The Nevada legislature passed a bill regulating them, but Governor Joe Lombardo vetoed it, citing the need to see what happens with the EPA. The agency expects to finalize its new regulations later this year. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now.